Whenever you ask any scientist, biologist, or anyone that's familiar with nature, what's the best and most useful creature on earth? 99% of them will most likely say bee. I mean, it's true, they have a point. Because if bees weren't around, a lot of living things would most likely go extinct. And it will also make life for us extremely difficult. Our foods are very dependent on bees. But this doesn't mean that other creatures or insects are useless. Every organism does what it does and it basically keeps the ecosystem balanced. But if you were to choose the most important and useful insect or should I say organism in the kingdom of animals, the bee is one of the top choices. But in this video, we're not talking about any bee. We're talking about a very special bee, an insect that is not interested in plants and flowers, but it looks for meat. Yes, in this video, we want to talk about the vulture bee. Unlike other types of bees where you can find them everywhere, we have three types of vulture bees and they can only be found in Central and South America. Vulture bees aren't anything like other bees. They don't go towards flowers and plants. And it's not like because they're lazy and they just want to find some dead meat and eat it. They're actually more active than other types of bees. And just like we said, it's called a vulture bee for a reason. They don't hunt actual animals that are living. They find dead flesh and eat them, just like how a vulture finds food and eats it. As you know, vultures are one of the most important birds in the animal kingdom because they pretty much clean up the ecosystem. You could say the vulture bee helps with that process as well. Its job is quite important to keep that environment clean. And let's not forget free of diseases. The kind of gross part about the bee vulture is that when it eats animal flesh, the hive it creates is unique because it comes from the meat it just ate. It's not made out of honey or anything else. It's made out of literally old flesh. But let's not forget that meat is not the only thing they eat. They can also eat on flowers as well, like other bees, but they usually choose not to. Most of the vulture bees you see are workers, and their primary goal is to make life easier for the queen. They basically create a bigger colony and try to make a bigger hive that's safer for the queen. And of course, bring the maximum amount of food for the queen as well so the colony can keep on expanding. You could say they're kind of like North Korean workers. Everybody's working for the leader, but the leader in a beehive is the queen. The weird thing about the vulture bee is that why is it it's only found in Central and South America? And what happened to the bee that it pretty much evolved into this? Because you really can't find any other insect that eats meat like this. Even though it looks similar to other bees, but it has a huge difference that many people don't notice. And that is that it eats meat. Some may say wasps eat meat as well. Yes, this is true. But they can't eat rotten meat like the vulture bee. Vulture bee, just like the vulture, can eat rotten meat and enjoy it. It's not going to make the insect feel sick or make them die. So this bee's body evolved in a way that it could diffuse any type of bacteria that enters its body from this rotten flesh. That's why it can eat any type of old meat and not feel anything. And this is why some call these insects a champion because they clean up the ecosystem. Another thing that the vulture bee does that helps the ecosystem is that when a regular vulture eats flesh, they don't eat 100% of the rotten flesh. So there's always some left over and this is when the bees tag in and pretty much clean everything up and make that area disease free. And when the bee vulture is done, the only thing that's left is bones. One of the most interesting thing is that the hive of this bee is unique and it's not made out of anything but meat. Another interesting thing is that when the vulture bee eats any types of flour, the honey it produces does not go towards the meat area. They make the honey in its own place. And of course, all that honey goes to the queen to create more workers. The coolest part is that the bee knows exactly what it's eating and where it goes. The flesh goes somewhere else, the honey goes somewhere else. But that remains a question. When a bee can eat all types of meat, and flowers, why does it eat meat, especially rotten flesh? Because of how common rotten flesh is found in nature. You could say millions of years ago, the bee realized that if it needs food, 
you might as well start eating these flesh because it's so plentiful. Obviously, this is a guess of different scientists, but an evolution like this might have happened a very long time ago. And slowly these bees evolved into a way where they could eat this rotten flesh and not feel sick. The bee itself doesn't know what type of a service it's putting up for humans, but we all know. A weird fact that you should know is about the natives that live in the area, the vulture bee lives. Some of these natives like to eat the hive of the vulture bee. And it seems disgusting to think about because it's made out of rotten flesh. In their old culture, they refer to this flesh as honey, but it has nothing to do with honey. When you ask them, why do you eat it? They say because it's sweet, but they really haven't tried it to see if they're telling the truth or not. And scientists advise people, it's better not to eat it than eat it. Even though most of the bacteria has been diffused inside the bee's body, but there's always a chance of getting sick. Scientists are really trying to figure out how this thing tastes without actually tasting it. And some of them say, based on our study, it most likely tastes more like iron than sweet. So who are the enemies of the vulture bee? They really don't have any predators that go after them, but some types of birds will go for them, and it's kind of rare. But of course, let's not forget about humans. They are the number one enemy to all types of insects, including the vulture bee. They don't kill them directly, but they destroy forests, especially in Latin and South America, and they put the lives of these creatures in danger.